there is a railing here. Let's put it in. Let's go get go in at a 45 degree and add our railing. And look, there's a, two parallel lines here. So here's my top parallel line. And here's my bottom. I'm going to smudge out. See how I erased? Smudging out my super light marks. And cleaning up my super dark marks. So we have this railing here that goes in this direction. See it? I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to follow the slight change in angle here, so bear with me. And then it goes up. I think it goes around. Quickly. And I think it goes lower than that. So give me, give me a there. There we go. It's a very soft, smiley line here. You see it? Okay. I gotta get the bottom end here. They're really close together. You see that? Right here? It's really hard. They're really close together. It's really hard to see. But they're there. And we're almost going to kind of create like a triangle here. So after creating your triangular shape, that's the top and bottom of your railing, you're going to put in your rails. Then when you get down close to where your triangle touches the oval or gets close to the section where your triangle almost touches the oval, you are going to straighten up your railing so that way it's a straight up and down vertical. This is the railing in the very front. Then repeat your railing that you did on the left side, do on the right. So right here is the front of your aisle. And right here, it's going in, is how you step down towards the bottom of your aisle. So that's why we have that here. That's why we have that weird, awkward angle probably like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? These are my steps. You add your shade. Smudge it out. And then Once you are done adding your railing, it is now time to add the aisleways in between your stadiums. Those are the smaller versions of the walkways that we just finished. So in order to do this, you're going to take your straight edge or your ruler. It does not have to specifically be a ruler, but it needs to be a straight edge of some sort. Line it up to that dot that you put in the center of your paper. And what you're going to do is you are going to make a diagonal line. Um, line your ruler up and make a diagonal line and slowly shift that ruler so it stays up against that dot and make an additional diagonal line and then repeat and repeat. Remember, the spaces furthest away from the viewer, which are going to be all the way across the stadium, those aisles are going to appear a little bit more thinner or smaller than the ones that come closer to your railing that you have just made. That's because they're further away. Right. This is 
does not really coexist. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. lot better. Right? Right. Okay. This area is a lot lighter. So we're going to very lightly use our eraser. To lighten up this down. We'll add our little shade or our little fuzzy lines here for our bleachers. But it is definitely a lot lighter. Okay, we're adding the illusion. There are seats here. As we get closer to this side, we're just going to start using our pencil to kind of get these shapes in here. This is our railing. So let's darken it up here. So we don't get confused with our seating arrangement. Probably could have gone more vertical, but the, it, they are at a slant. Do you see them? So that's kind of why I did it that way. All right. using some sketchy marks here. Really? I'll do the same on this side. This is not as defined over here. So, continue you to use your eraser just put in the marks that you need to put in. Okay. And then darken your railing back up because some of that eraser may have messed up your railing. have the seats here.
for people sick. Okay. This area is going to be lighter. There is Cricket Stadium.